there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Apollo Justice. And only lost twice. Who was the first? The man I killed, of course. Well, it seems I found the partner I've been looking for all along. Over a game of cards? Why, yes! Over a game of cards. Okay, this can be an interesting... Seven years ago. <laughs> Phoenix Wright's final trial. <laughs> Whew, okay, it's been a long time since I felt like such a rookie. Gotta tr gotta try and relax. Ah, good morning, Mister. An egg, enigma, enigma. I received the files from your previous attorney only yesterday. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure I'm prepared. Yes, well, you haven't really told me what happened yet. All we did was play cards. And that was enough. Actually, it wasn't. Trust me. I'm so glad you came. They picking on... <laughs> As always, this old boy is here to help me. After all, this young man to you... Good morning. That's a cute outfit you have on. Thanks. I'm sure it is. What the heck is she talking? Oh. Oh boy. Hmm. Um. Uh, here. What's this? I don't know. I just got over there in the hall. They told me to give it to the old boy in the blue shorts with spiky hair. They said it was really important. What's this? A memo for you or some such? Not from the looks of it. I'll give it a read later. Ah, okay, well this is gonna be interesting. Incidentally, the prosecutor today is a new guy, I hear. Ah, an easy win then, yes? They're calling him a true thoroughbred in the history of prosecutor's office. Of course, there's one of those every year. I know it has a difficult situation to put you in, but allow me to say one thing, Mr. Wright. Yes, they will not be able to pronounce me guilty today. So do your best, but do not worry. <laughs> I'll do what I can. I see you do not understand. You see, it will be impossible for them to declare a verdict. I, imposs- Yes. Isn't that right, Trucy? Yep, you bet, Daddy. To be honest. Alright. Still, so, I'll do what I can for their sake. I believe the curtains will be lifting any time now. Shadi Enigma, known to the world as Zach Gram. I can. Grammarai. A widely popular magician, star of. Magnifi Grammarai. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, that's interesting as well. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Is the prosecution ready? I was just thinking. Is this what all this fuss is about? A bit of buzzkill, really? Buzzkill? Is this some kind of new crime? One of the worst. This is a trial, Ja. Where's the sweaty palms and the pounding hearts? 
Who are you again? I came to get the party started. Legally. Ah, that's my bros more famous. Clavier, lead singers of the... Yeah. Neat. True, my debut single, 13 years hard time for love, went platinum overnight. But that's just a hobby compared. I like your effective Euro rock accent, by the way. Perhaps you would be so kind to fill us in on this case. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. <laughs> Hey, come true! Man, it's been I man, I've missed you. My name is Dick Gumshoe, my one of my probably my favorite character in all of the Ace Attorney games, and I'm not even I'm not even uh, joking about that. Huh? Me. Today's the day, pal. Today I win and you lose. I got confidence in my testimony today, see? You normally lack confidence in your testimony. Huh? All this hey youing and such. I could care less about- Hey! Be nice to Gumshoe! Please tell us about the case at hand. <laughs> the killer comes in and puts a pistol to his forehead and BAM! Lights out. Them's the facts. Not so long ago, the victim Magnifique Ah, uh, yes, the Great Magician. He retired years ago, though. Say... And you'd be lucky to get a blank stare. Though I'm sure the youngsters today know his disciples even better. Has made quite the name for themselves. Any out to retire. A male ignorant tutor or something doing something to his uh, liver, I think. He had liver cancer. Okay. But something's not right. The victim was already climbing uh, three months. Why not just wait for him to knock, knock, knock on heaven's door? Why shoot him? I wouldn't have put it quite so lyrically, but it's true. Why make the effort to commit a murder when the victim was about to die? Man, liver cancer and diabetes. Hmm, I believe the question before us is clear then. Why did the killer have to shoot this dying man? What reason could he have had? Very well, detective. Perhaps you can enlighten us to the circumstances of the shooting. All right. Actually, the victim kind of ordered the defendant to do him. And a few days before it happened, the victim sent a letter ordering his own murder. The defendant did what was asked of him and shot the old man in the forehead. The bullet was fired from the pistol found at the scene, no doubt about it. And the pistol definitely belonged to the old man, sir. Those are the facts. I have... Hmm. Very unusual indeed, although could such a thing as a letter really cause one to bullet the I believe the question...
Can you explain this to the... Unfortunately, even the defendant won't say a peep about this. One thing that bothers me is this. Why didn't he just say 11? Why have him come in at 11.05 without a specific reason? The devil is in the detail, Air Attorney. Well, what was the reason then? As it turns out, there was every night for half an hour starting at 11, the victim was given an IV. Thirty minutes later, he would come back. So uh, that was the only time they could meet without the chance of an untimely interruption during his IV. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, if you would. What's this reason he couldn't refuse? He could he could have at least mentioned it to me? Yeah, that would have been nice, Phoenix. But an, a client talking to you before the trial. That's hilarious. Oh, I disagree. The victim was indeed shot in the head after all. Just as he had commanded. It could have been a setup, but let's not be... S Maybe we should let the witness talk first. Fine, I can play it slow as well. On with the testimony. A few days before it happened, the and this letter was sent by the victim. There it is. Gotcha. You're all mine. Huh? I had the handwriting checked, of course. Ah, I see. Score one for the boys. I didn't lose. I was just a turn. So why am I so in? But a letter ordering your own death. Things aren't what they used to be, I guess. So anyways, I guess I'll keep going while I'm ahead. The defendant did what was asked of him and shot the old man in the forehead. How can you be so sure? Hey, you gotta learn to stop relying on people. Learn to think for yourself. <laughs> you failed to grasp the concept of the questioning. First we got this letter. It says, shoot in the forehead, loud and clear. I can see that, but I still want to do it. Well, maybe you need to grow yourself a backbone, pal. We also found the defendant. Trace of gunpowder residue shows that was fired recently. Well, Mr. Wright. As far as I can tell, it looks... You know what you... The photo. Maybe there's something there that I can use. So they're saying the defendant shot the victim in the forehead. Think, there's a hole in the front. I mean, looking at this photo, another possibility occurred to me. What does the letter tell us? The defendant had a reason he couldn't refuse his teacher's wishes. That's why the defendant... Oh, the defense disagrees. You see, the defendant had another choice to make. What? And you can prove it with this photo? I can prove he had a choice, yes. Well, let's hear what you're... If you didn't shoot the victim for her, what did the... I can't get it. Found. Take a closer look. See, it's been shot in the forehead too. Yes, and a hole in the prosecution's claim. I suppose you have a reason to ask why he'd shoot the clown's doll. He didn't just shoot the clown dolls. He shot the clown doll's forehead. You will shoot w one shot square in the forehead, which is exactly what he did. He shot. The defense has raised an interesting. The hole in the. Bailiff, send someone to investigate this matter. 
I admit, I'm impressed, but I expected nothing less. Still, this doesn't mean he didn't shoot the victim. Perhaps he did have to shoot a forehead as ordered, but the letter says nothing about whose forehead. That was the only way he had to... Hmm. The bullet hole. Yet press. It alone does not prove the defendant's innocence. You cannot say for sure the defendant didn't shoot the victims. How sad is it to see the novice... Detective Gunshoon, please take this new... So what if he shot... He still shot the victim, pal. So let me get this straight. You're saying my client shot the clown, then shot the victim? Not a bad... More of a confirmation. That's really more confirmation. But our defense attorney seems... Do these people ever miss a chance to mock me? Shall we continue with the test? And read this letter carefully. To you I entrust the task of lowering my life's curtain. Come on, on the 13th of 11.05. I am ready to give a... I am... I will ready a gun with which you will shoot. One shot, square in the forehead. Uh, that's not what I wanted to press. It seems Fate Claws will make me wait a little longer, at least. Only less than ten swifts remain to all those who have supported me in my life. I wish I had the gun to see if it got shot twice or something like that. This has been a bit of a... Ah, uh, well, clearly... I had to get at least one wrong. Okay, well, that's not good either. Why are you so certain? Hmm. Oh. Zack and... Then they shoot, but the bullets don't hit her. Instead, they hit every... Got a great design, huh? Kids love it. 
Many bone. You know what? That would explain a lot about the old man held on to that pistol ever since. You mean the pistol? That's the one, is it? The fine. We compared the bullet taken. The rifling marks. So, you verified the murder weapon and other. You bet we did. The court would like to see the pistol. You got it, sir. Well, she truly is a blast from the past. Wow, I guess I never pressed him about this. Which is weird. So, were there any fingerprints on the gun? Unfortunately, no. Of course, the defendant is known for wearing gloves. We might say that the lack of fingerprints. No, no, no. Fire one real bullet. Okay, yep, there we go. There's my confirmation. Objection. The trick is case. You missed the bullet. Is that you might have come to a very different conclusion? Understood. Yeah, but like I just said, pal. Objection! Did nothing of the sort to the victim. The pistol proves he could not. <laughs> if he had shot the clown in the forehead, he couldn't have taken. That's not a contradiction. Not even. That's not even close. All you had to do was really. Oh, and where did he get the extra bullet? They're not easy to come by, you know. If you can, then prove us to us how he got it. <laughs> I had a feeling this wasn't over. No, this party's just getting started, and I haven't proven anything yet beyond my good looks and startling record sales. And your utter lack of humility. And what's this? It seems the prosecution has another witness prepared. Of course they do! They always have another witness! Now that the audience can't taste of what to come, they're ready. Ready for what? For my decisive witness, of course. A witness who you will find can prove one thing for us. That it was Zach Grimoire who shot the... Who shot the victim in the forehead. Well, let's bring out this witness. <laughs> Alright. I guess with this, we will see you guys next time on Hades Plays Apollo Justice.